Hi, kitty cats. Last June, I was told I would burn in hell for my gender transition. So I became a transgender activist. And technically, my life got no easier. Well, happy Pride Month 2024. Just like Women's History Month or Black History Month, Pride Month is when we recognize the difficulty those of us in the LGBTQ community face from entrenched marginalization. Awareness of our difficulty is critical to address ongoing legislation that continues to threaten not just transgender rights, but those of the greater LGBTQ community further. So what does it mean to become a transgender activist? Well, becoming an activist entails one primary challenge, and that's being visible. It doesn't matter if you write an article or if you record a podcast or film a video, you're out there and you're going to be seen. Activism takes confidence and activism takes commitment. And frankly, activism takes a thick skin to stand up for what you know is right. Now, don't mistake me. There are many rewards to being an activist, but you've got to be aware from the outset that you're going to meet resistance. Resistance. So this is a kind word for haters. Every piece of content I create receives at least one rude content. As unfair as this may seem, you simply cannot escape how the anonymity of the internet empowers people, especially those with small minds and big mouths. You do have one big weapon against haters, and typically it's not your prowess at arguing. Your responses to rude comments may change a mind, but you have to be ready to exercise your power. You see, haters are allowed to hate on your content only with your permission. When you find an argument has become no longer productive, or maybe isn't even going to be productive to start, report that comment, get rid of it, and move on. Your community counts on you for safety, so don't take their safety lightly. Well, what if being visible is scary? What if you don't want to create content and risk those haters? Your activism is exactly what you're doing now. You're reading and listening or watching content for a cause. And as content creators, we need you, the content consumer. So your job, if you find value in a message, you hit that like button. If you think it's a really exceptionally great message, you share it with other people who need to hear it. And if you see more than one good message from a content creator, subscribe for their content. All of those actions are free, and all of those actions support the activism necessary to make a difference. If you want to make a difference in your world, it's going to take activism. And Pride Month is a great time to get started. So create your own content and moderate the response, if necessary, or engage with all your favorite content creators. The search bar is right there. Content that supports your cause is at your command. How about Pride Month? And now, like this video, share it, and subscribe to Amethyst to Herrick, Gender Professor. Then check the links in my bio to find more content supporting the LGBTQ community and the human experience. Bye.